the CIA is combining with the spy service of a NATO ally in Europe to conduct covert sabotage operations inside Russia, according to new claims. The clandestine campaign is behind many unexplained explosions and fires that have hit strategic or prominent facilities in recent months, says U.S. expert Jack Murphy, an eight-year Army Special Operations veteran. Separately other European intelligence services have allegedly been running operatives into Russia to create chaos without CIA help, as has Ukraine. His claims follow as a new fire struck a shopping mall in Krasnodar region, in southern Russia, the latest in dozens of such incidents. It comes as Putin issued another chilling warning to the West on Christmas Day. In Ukraine today, air raid sirens have been going off around the country as some decide to move their Christmas Day to avoid celebrating on the same day as Russia. Oil and gas facilities, railways, fuel depots, power plants and shopping malls have been hit across Russia by mysterious explosions, with rumors of sabotage. The campaign involves long-standing sleeper cells that the Allied spy service has activated to hinder Moscow's invasion of Ukraine by waging a secret war behind Russian lines, said Murphy in a post. The campaign is responsible for many of the unexplained explosions and other mishaps that have befallen the Russian military-industrial complex since Russia's full-scale invasion of Ukraine in February. He cited anonymous U.S. sources including three former intelligence and two military officials, and a sixth source who has been briefed on the campaign. The CIA has denied the allegations. The former officials declined to identify specific targets for the CIA-directed campaign, but railway bridges, fuel depots and power plants in Russia have all been damaged in unexplained incidents since the Kremlin launched its full-scale invasion of Ukraine in February, wrote Murphy on his website. No U.S. officials were involved on the ground, he said, but the strikes had used an allied intelligence service and were approved by U.S. President Joe Biden, he asserted. While command and control over the sabotage program resides with the CIA for legal reasons, the NATO ally has a strong say in which operations go forward since it is their people taking the risks. Murphy said that while the CIA had denied as categorically false its involvement, the agency is entitled to make such denials under Title 50 of the U.S. Code which authorizes covert actions. Recent weeks have seen massive explosions, including a 19th of November blast on a main gas pipeline belonging to Gazprom Transgas SPB in Leningrad region close to St. Petersburg. On Christmas Eve an inferno hit a large warehouse belonging to the defense-related All-Russian Institute of Light Alloys in Moscow. The largest shareholder of this research institute is Rostec, a Russian state-owned defense conglomerate headed by Vladimir Putin's colleague from his time as a KGB spy, Sergei Kimzov. It is a corporation charged with developing, producing and exporting high technology including for military uses. In a separate incident, on Friday a fire engulfed a military base in Moscow, raging for more than four hours. It came a day after a mystery blaze on board Putin's only aircraft carrier while the vessel was under repairs from an earlier inferno. The fire could further delay the return of the Admiral Kuznetsov to active deployment. Earlier there were two explosions and major infernos at key energy facilities in the Irkutsk region. Flames shot into the sky from the giant blaze at the Markovsky condensate treatment unit in the biting minus 22 C cold. The scene from hell was caused by the jet fire in the East Siberian district of Ustkut. At least seven people suffered injuries in a blast at Angars three days earlier. Separately, a huge explosion hit a major Russian gas pipeline some 560 miles from the Ukrainian border. The cause was unclear but video showed a huge fireball burning in Chuvashia Republic. The pipeline transports gas from Russia via Ukraine to Europe, according to early reports. On 9th of December, a vast explosion and fire hit a major shopping mall in Kimkia, Moscow, the original site of the first Russian IKEA store. The NATO allies campaign overseen by the CIA is only one of several covert operations efforts being undertaken by Western nations in Russia, said Murphy, attributing his claim to two former US special operations officials. He claimed European intelligence services have activated long dormant resistance networks, who would have been running operatives into Russia to create chaos without CIA help. Mick Mulroy, a former CIA paramilitary officer, reportedly said the value of these attacks is substantial and serves multiple purposes. He cited problems for Russia in keeping up with logistical supply lines and supplying its soldiers. They also serve to sow doubt in Kremlin minds, because they show that Russian President Vladimir Putin does not have control over what is happening in his own country, Mulroy said. Is it a covert program, is it disgruntled Russians sabotaging their own plant, or is it pure incompetence of the workers? I don't know, and perhaps the Kremlin doesn't either. This matters to paranoid autocrats. Murphy was a former senior trainer and advisor to an Iraqi SWAT team, with his special forces team conducting direct action and other missions across northern Iraq. 
The latest allegations come as President Vladimir Putin blasted the West on Christmas Day for trying to tear apart Russia and said his offensive in Ukraine aimed to unite the Russian people. Meanwhile in Kyiv, a day after deadly shelling in southern Ukraine, residents held Christmas services on Sunday, defying Russian spiritual leaders who celebrated on January 7. Putin has used the concept of historical Russia to argue that Ukrainians and Russians are one people, undermining Kyiv's sovereignty and justifying his 10-month offensive in Ukraine. He said Russia's geopolitical opponents, were, aiming to tear apart Russia, the historical Russia, Putin said in excerpts from an interview to be aired later on Sunday. Divide and conquer, that's what they have always sought to accomplish and are still seeking to do, Putin added. But our goal is different, it's to unite the Russian people, he said. Putin said his government was acting in the right direction. Protecting our national interests, the interests of our citizens, of our people. He repeated that Moscow was ready to negotiate and appeared unfazed when asked about the new air defense system the United States will deliver to Ukraine. Of course we will destroy it, 100%. Putin said, referring to the Patriot missile battery promise to Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe. Also, if you want to support Warthog Defense, please become our member and get early access to new videos, exclusive members only videos, and become administrator in comment section. The membership link is in the description. Rescues. Every day we had a guy last week at six rescues in six days. You know, he's doing the job every day.